Thanks for booking a moped rental with us here at the Adventure Center. We know you're excited to get out and see what our beautiful area has to offer, but before you hit the road, there are some important steps you need to take. First, be sure you've filled out our moped rental waiver form at the front desk and have received a helmet from a team member. Once these steps have been completed and you've finished watching this video, a team member will give you a brief quiz and then will guide you through our vehicle safety and inspection. And I'm gonna have to walk around there. It's each renter's responsibility to be familiar with the Hawaii State Moped Laws, which can be found on a laminated document in each seat of the moped. You should also make sure that there's a lock in that seat. Your moped should be on the center stand. To take it off the center stand, just push it forward and it'll roll off. To start the moped, make sure the key is in the ignition and set to on. Here's the ignition switch. Notice that it doesn't start if you just push it. Check to see if the engine cutoff switch is also set to on, then pull the brake lever and push the ignition at the same time. It should start right up. When applying the throttle, test the sensitivity out first by rolling it gently towards you. As you move forward, keep your feet down and walk the moped until you feel comfortable and balanced enough to put your feet up. When riding a moped for the first time, make sure you're acquainted with the controls. Here's the gas gauge, and here's the speedometer. These numbers are kilometers an hour, and these numbers are miles per hour. Your moped is equipped with turn signals, but unlike a car, they don't turn off automatically. So we encourage you to use hand signals to avoid confusing other drivers. To signal a right turn, raise your left arm at a right angle. Right turn, right angle. To signal a left turn, keep your left arm pointed straight to your left. Left arm, pointed left. Never signal with your right arm. The left brake lever is the rear brake. The right is the front brake. Whenever you're applying the brakes, squeeze both sides evenly. To slow the moped down, slowly release the throttle and squeeze the brakes. Then put your feet out to come to a complete stop. To put the moped back on the center stand, look for the bar on the left side, then step on it and grab the metal bar on the underside of the rear fender to roll it backwards. Remember, grab the metal bar under the rear fender, not the plastic fender. We recommend locking the moped to bike racks or another object that's anchored to the ground. Check the Hawaii State Moped Laws under the seat for more details on where you can lock your moped to. Locks go through the tire ring. But be careful if you do it through the back tire because the muffler can get really hot. And if you can't find anything solid to lock your moped to, you can also just lock two mopeds together. Now that you can drive the moped, you've got a large area to explore. We provide roadside assistance within certain boundaries in the event of a breakdown that's not your fault. So the boundaries are Haleiwa Town on the North Shore and Kualoa Ranch on the windward side. Any breakdowns outside of these boundaries are your responsibility but any breakdowns within these boundaries that are your fault due to your own negligence, like losing your keys or running out of gas, will also be your responsibility. These mopeds are for single riders only, so you're not allowed to have any passengers. We recommend taking closed-toed shoes while driving and also eye protection like sunglasses. While we do have storage space in the seat, we don't recommend leaving your valuables in there when you leave your moped locked up somewhere. Now that you've watched this video and have learned the basics of our moped rentals, you'll go through a quick inspection with a team member and a practice ride. This is to protect you as the customer and the company from any damages that may have been caused beforehand. Have fun exploring!